Welcome back, everybody. We're here with our friend Mindy Kaling. Mindy, thanks so much for. I got a lot of my uh, a lot of my shopping done too. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. This is great. That's great. Now, yeah. what are you actually going to use? Do you really have? Do you really not have a mop at home, and you need one? I'm going to hit my assistant with this. You do your show in Los Angeles. You're going to get there through uh, TSA. I'm going to try. I'm going to say it's important. Um, no, this is great. This is good, and I like it because it makes people think I clean my own home, which is true. Gives you a certain which domesticity. Is something that I do. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of people who don't clean their home, you have said of your character, Mindy Lahiri. That she enjoys a white male level of privilege. <laughs> yeah. That is you or your character? My character, my character. So, what, what yeah. do you mean by that? I mean, she certainly is very selfish. I love how selfish she is. Yeah, I think that she um, has just decided that she's going to live her life with the kind of the fun entitlement of a white man. Mm -hmm. Who's. It is fun. I gotta say, it's pretty fun. I do you think I it's highly fun? recommend it. It is, right? Highly recommend it. You know, when you open any newspaper, turn on TV, and see yourself accurately represented and sure. represented a lot. Right. You know, you're a talk show host, late night talk show host. This white is men. White, white men yeah. privilege, yeah. yeah. So I just thought, wouldn't it be fun if I just played a character who does not see herself as a subjugated person? <laughs> And wouldn't that be novel? Well, and it's been. And, and she's not a subjugated person. No, she? no, she's not. She's. Um, it almost is. She over overcorrected. She's like delusionally confident, mm -hmm. which is fun to play. Now, do people yeah. come up to you now that because uh, I, I'm sure a lot of young women enjoy your work? Uh, I certainly learned about you know uh, you through my daughter. And uh, do they come up to you and kind of treat you like uh, OBGYN? Yeah, so that's the nice part of when you play an OBGYN is people are like, oh, I feel so close to you. Like, you could be my OBGYN and my friend. And then, um, and then stuff that's too personal <laughs> about their sex lives and advice and things like that because I'm that kind of per I'm, I play that kind of character. And uh, yeah. they're like, where are the stirrups? I'm ready to go. Yeah, no, I engender that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Like, look at this. Yeah. Look at this growth. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and then I just guess because I don't want to let anyone down because I'm a people pleaser. Exactly. It, Hence. Hence the need for the mop. Yeah. Let's talk about the book for a second, okay? So, you know, as the paperback of uh, Why Not Me, okay? And I gotta say one thing that I'm very honored by. On the very back, you have a diagram of your heart. I don't know how close you guys can get right here, but right here, this part of the heart right there, can you see? It says Stephen Colbert. That's I didn't really... just make that for this appearance. That's no, 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 on no. The that was on the, the time. That was on the hard copy one as well. Yeah, it was. What? Why am I in this particular part of your heart? I'm honored, obviously, yeah. but why am I in that part well, of your I'm heart? Well, I'm a big fan. I think you are such an inspiration for. Well, that's nice. I'm a big fan of yours. Young comedians. <laughs> Can I call myself young? Yeah. yeah. But no, it's, I, mean, um, I know many people feel that way and about that, and I think you're placed between my phone <laughs> and praise and attention. So okay. your, your space is almost as big as my place in my heart for my, my cell phone. Oh, that's nice. And I love my cell phone. Oh, I know. I know. Listen, I love my wife uh, very much, but I occasionally leave with a house without her. Yes. Yes, I never leave without, without my phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about a project I'm really excited about. Yeah. You and some amazing people are doing a reboot of the Oceans trilogy. Yeah. Starting with Oceans 8. Okay. <laughs> Who all is doing that? Honest to God, this is going to be this is an all female thing. Oceans trilogy. Yeah, I started doing Who, all, who, else, like, who else is doing uh, it? It's Sandra Bullock, uh, Kate Blanchett, uh, Rihanna. What? Yeah, Anne Hathaway. No, doesn't it just seem like I'm naming people? You're just making. Like... <laughs> Like, name the best people you can is this game. Yeah. That's fantastic. So yeah. now everybody's got a skill in these Oceans movies. Everybody's got the skill they bring yeah. to the caper. There's yeah. really no other word for what they do as a caper. No, it's so true. What's so your, what's your skill? What do well, you the do? These are so cool. And I, I'm, look, I'm real scared, man, because when I look at that list of people, I'm like, I know that my skill, you want something cool, but I know my skill is going to be like, I get attacked by the guard dog. <laughs> so they can, they can break into the, the casino. You're delicious to guard dogs yeah. is your skill. <laughs> So have you already started, or I started you... in two weeks. Wow! And yeah. where can you anything like? Is it going to be Vegas? Is it going to be? It's in New York City, and there's a lot of there's a fashion element to it. There's this a movie, fashion element. Yeah, this movie was like if you took all my favorite things and like shook it up in a blender, they'd be like, oh, this is the Mindy Kaling. Do you need any guys just to walk on set or? Oh my God, you'd be the best. Can you? Are you going to play yourself? Oh yeah, Stephen Colbert. Oh, that'd be great. Why don't you? We're going to rob your house. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> 
Do you that mind? Would be fantastic. Me and Kate Blanchett and Cinder Block are in a rock Oh, my home. God. You and Kate Blanchett can do anything you want. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? She's amazing. She is so amazing. She's amazing. You know, now, you're something of a, of a, a fashion uh, uh, icon. Thank you. You are. You are. And anything you've changed about my style? Anything you would try out? And because I'm pretty conservative in the way I, I dress. I think you're pretty conservative. I think it works. I'd like to see you in a pink shirt. Really? Yeah. I think a, a pink shirt is something that men sometimes don't like want to try to do, but I think it could have a nice Caribbean flavor to your show. It's what I've been lacking. I think it would bring a kind of like, hey, I'm like cool. Like you guys are actors, creative types. You look like a hedge fund guy. It's good. <laughs> That you but, if I wear a, but if I wear a pink shirt, I'm like, hey, man, come down to the dock with me. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I think people would like it. Well, uh, folks, check out the new season of The Mindy Project tomorrow on Hulu and pick up a copy <laughs> of Why Not Me, now in paperback. Mindy Kaling, everybody. Yay!